Aloha, folks! It is I, the Great Clement, and I am back to continue the Sonic series with Sonic Triple Trouble on the Sega Game Gear, which is actually the sequel to Sonic Chaos, a game I also LP'd, but it took me a half hour to beat it. It was pretty short. If you want to see it, go nuts. You can see it in, wa in one sitting. But regardless, this is Sonic Triple Trouble, and this is the first introduction of Knuckles onto the Game Gear. This is his first appearance on the console. And we also get a new character in this game, because not only are we facing off with Knuckles, we are facing off with Eggman. And the third person in this Triple Trouble is a character known as Fang the Sniper, and he's also known by as Knack the Weasel. Uh, Fang's his Japanese name, Knack is his American name, but... Uh, I'm going to call him Fane just because I assume if Fang were ever to come back, he would be called Fang again. Here's our character selection yet again. Just like Sonic Chaos, you can choose between Sonic and or Tails. In fact, this game in Japan is called Sonic and Tails 2. Sonic Chaos was Sonic and Tails in Japan. This is Sonic and Tails 2 in Japan. So this is actually the pseudo-sequel to Sonic Chaos. So what's changed from Sonic Chaos to Sonic Triple Trouble? Well, not really too much. You still have the awesome peel-out move. If you hold the up button and push the jump button, you can do the awesome insta-speed, runner-all-over-place, you know, peel-out move. And I love it. I love the peel-out. It's awesome. <laughs> you can still spin dash. You're still uh, doing your thing. You know. Uh, when you hit springs, you can push the jump button in mid-air and then curl into a ball. You can't actually do this in the... Sonic 1, 2, and 3 games, like the Genesis games, you know? So it's always fun where if you hit a spring and you're about to hit an enemy, you can push the jump button right in the nick of time to hit them. That's always swell. Uh, the Chaos Emeralds are once again present, and in order to get them, you need 50 rings, and you have to find a box that has a Chaos Emerald on them, just like the item boxes or the ring boxes, right? And there's only one in each level, and it's always in the same place every time you play the game. So the first Chaos Emerald is high up in the mountains, you gotta use all the spring trees to reach it. You uh, shatter the box, then you jump into the sparkly, swirly area, and uh, there, we're in the first special stage. There's two kinds of special stages, and there's only five in the whole entire game. Um, there's one where you're doing this gigantic labyrinth, you know, you're, you're navigating through springs and platforms, and you have a time limit too, which doesn't help. Basically, if you don't get to the end of this place in 1 minute and 16 seconds, well then you're not going to get the Chaos Emerald, are you? There are plenty of uh, time boxes in the mid like along the way that reduce time for you, like the one I just stepped on there. They add a couple seconds to your timer, and that always helps, but uh, if you don't hit them, it's going to be a little bit trickier. But these special stages are dickish. They always put springs in, like, the most inconvenient places. It's a tad annoying. But at the end of this pathway, we meet the new character... Fang the Sniper, folks. And Fang is going to do something... Wow. He just flamed himself with, a, with his own switch. Fang the Sniper is stupider than Knuckles. How is that even possible? SHUT UP! But I digress. Uh, Fang the, the Sniper is the new Weasel character. Um, he isn't really in any of the 3D Sonic games, and he's only in the Game Gear games and Sonic the Fighters, which I've shown off uh, before with me and BJ. So, uh, Fang the Sniper is a bit of a fan favorite to some people. He's just a jewel hunter, type character. Uh, Eggman has hired Fang to hunt the Chaos Emeralds for him, and Fang does not even know that the Chaos Emeralds have special powers. He just thinks they're rich gems that he can cash in for good money, you know? <laughs> so Fang doesn't even know what the hell the Chaos Emeralds are. He just sees shiny jewels, and he's like, oh yeah, gotta cash those in. Uh, this playthrough, I decided to take turns with each of the, with each of the characters. So people, some people complained that uh, during Sonic Chaos, I should have played as Tails more. You know, I showed him off in one level, and then I ditched Tails for the rest of the game. But folks, keep in mind, I couldn't get the Chaos Emeralds with Tails in Sonic Chaos. I could only get it with Sonic. And Tails really wasn't that different, I didn't see the point, but this time I decided to change my tune because, one, uh, Tails does get the Chaos Emeralds this time around. He can go into the special stages and get the better ending by getting them. So, that's different. Uh, his flying around feature is a lot better, in my opinion. There it is. Uh, it's the same 
motion as the peel out move for Sonic. You hold up and then you push the jump button and you can start flying around. It's a great way to reach certain Chaos Emerald item boxes if you're not good at navigating uh, with Sonic, you know. I like the flying better in Sonic Triple Trouble than it was in Sonic Chaos. It just, it just feels so much more fluid and it just it was a lot quicker and... With Sonic Chaos, Tails' flying ability was just really slow for some reason, you know? I don't know why, it, it just really was. And also going under this small hidden pathway, you saw I had to smash through the wall to get here, leads to the special stage. And uh, the second special stage has a Sonic 2 style minigame where you have to go and collect the rings and then you get to move on to get the Chaos Emerald, you know. You're gonna be seeing this kind of special stage in all the Sonic games, it never gets old. Ever. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's really that hard, though. I mean, I don't even have to memorize where the rings are. It's just, it's fairly easy to collect all of them, and there's plenty of time to get all of them. And once you get the number of rings you're told to get in the beginning of the special stage, well, then that's it. You head to Fang, and you head to the second Chaos Emerald. Not much to say, you know. Just fly in the direction of the rings. Uh, sometimes they like to go one way and then the other way, if that makes sense. Like, it follows some kind of pattern, but, you know. Alright, there's Fang the Sniper yet again. Hopefully he doesn't flame himself like an idiot this time. <laughs> no, actually, Fang is pretty interesting because he's the only boss character, really, in a special stage of any Sonic game ever. Uh, Fang has his own unique boss fights, and every special stage you go to, you have to fight Fang in some new contraption. You know, it's very different from Dr. Eggman, because, like, Eggman, he shows up at the end of every level in, you, in most Sonic games. Fang, he hides in the special stages. If you don't try and get the Chaos Emeralds, you're never going to see these boss fights, and it's pretty interesting. I like it. I like Fang's character. You know, he's, he's a treasure-hunting jewel thief who has a little pop gun. And, uh, he springs on his tail. Like, he bounces on his tail, I should say. And, uh, he's a little bit of an idiot, a little bit cowardly, but, you know, you gotta love Fang. He's kinda awesome. He hasn't been brought back in the 3D Sonic games, I have no idea why. I would figure that if they're gonna bring back Team Chaotix, why not Fang the Sniper? I don't know. Then again, a lot of people would like to say that if Fang was brought back, his character would be ruined, because... Apparently, Sonic Team don't know what they're doing anymore in the 3D games, but, you know, whatever. And it also could be because Rouge the Bat is a treasure-hunting, jewel-collecting character now, but, you know, she could go great with Fang. She could know Fang. That'd be interesting. I don't know. Just like um, with most Sonic games, the third act is going to be the boss level. Uh, none of these boss levels give you rings, unlike Sonic Chaos. So if you get hit once by any of the bosses, well, obviously, you die. The first one is fairly easy, you just keep jumping into it, and then it goes higher up into the sky, and at that point you need a spring to actually reach it, but as we've stated before, if you hit a spring, Sonic isn't curled up into a ball, he just sort of bounces high, and you can't really hit whatever you're, jump you're bouncing into, right? And you don't have rings. So if you hit the spring, and you don't push A in time, and you bounce into the robot head first, you're gonna die. And that's no good. But, uh, you know, as long as you just make sure you're not landing on the robot when you don't need to, you should be good. Oh god, Knuckles! Fuck you, Knuckles! Oh, once again, back to his Sonic 3 and Knuckles bullshit. Yeah, here's the idea with uh, Knuckles' storyline, guys. Uh, Knuckles, he has been told by Dr. Eggman that Sonic is trying to steal the Chaos Emeralds and conquer the world. And this takes place after Sonic 3 and Knuckles, keep in mind. So, <laughs> Knuckles is once again falling for Eggman's tricks and he thinks that Sonic is going to conquer the world and use the Chaos Emeralds for bad and evil. It makes no sense. Knuckles is going to keep getting get tricked by Eggman all the time, too. Like, this is not going to be the final time, and I don't get it. Again, he's an idiot. SHUT UP! 
So Sunset Park is easy to lose your rings. Uh, there's a lot of platforms, or at least missiles, that you have to run, a run across, and they explode after you've stepped on them. So, like, if you stop moving, the explosion will hit you and take away your rings. The, there are lots of fans statue things in the level, and every time you jump, like, in their area, your character just, like, drops down and he loses his ball jumping mode, right? That's a great way to get hit by enemies, so you gotta watch out for that. Uh, try not to jump where the fans are, basically, because if you jump where the fans are, the chances of you falling into an enemy or just letting go of your ball guard is pretty high, and you don't want that. No one wants that, obviously. I hate this 15 minute time limit for YouTube, my throat's already sore. I, uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that. And yet I'm still gonna take advantage of the 15 minutes anyway, because, you know, I don't want to watch a 10-parter uh, LP, I want to watch a 5-parter, or how, how much shorter I can make it. But I digress, I'm just rambling now. Um, the third special stage is kind of annoying. Uh, there's the item clock boxes, the, the clocks that make time go on longer. They're a little bit more hidden, and they're not in the direct pathway you need to go to, you know, finish the stage. So, I'm, sh I'm just skipping them personally, because I can do it uh, without the clock boxes, but uh, if you're not used to this level, you're probably going to fuck it up on your first try. I'm no bones about it. And of course, when you screw up, if you have no time left, uh, you leave and you can't get the Chaos Emerald attempt again until you go to a new stage and get that Chaos Emerald box with 50 rings. So, yay. Hey, Fang, what's up? Oh, Fang's got a little flying contraption this time around. He likes to dip down, but as you can see how easily I destroyed him, it was a joke fight. <laughs> Why was this bouncing machine so much better? It was, a se it was the second Chaos Emerald, not the third. Fang, you have to progress in, a in the positive way. You have to progress harder. You can't progress backwards. Dr. Eggman does not go into his lamest machine at the very end, even though, you know, that would make more sense. I mean, you think, all my machines have been destroyed, uh, 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 ball and chain, I'll use that again, why not? <laughs> I'll use that for the tenth millionth time again, why not? Either way, folks, uh, I will see you in part two of Sonic Triple Trouble. Toodles. Oh wait, I have ten seconds to go until the transition. Now, toodles. Bye.